Okay guys, first of all, Spadia is not just a YouTube channel. We have also digital products, physical products, which are going to help you about everything we talk about in these videos. You can find the two links in the descriptions below. And now let's get back to the video you came here to actually watch. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have a basically a banger, especially because this is going to be about the one thing we've been talking about for pretty much every video so far and why we actually want to study neuroscience or basically delve into that field. It's very necessary in today's era, in my opinion, to get into, but I want to outline a couple of aspects which we haven't talked about, why it is very beneficial, but especially what you can get out of it because I can talk about the benefits for days or weeks, but I think especially what you can get out of actually uh, studying it into your own life is, I think, very important for you to know uh, because obviously don't have to go through entire 52 videos we've done so far but you can at least know what you can get out of it in the broad broader sense and I wouldn't tell you that it's enough to study one or two videos I think it's the best case if you have knowledge about all the different aspects that you are interested in for first and foremost but the second that can help you isolate down the line because it's very uh, different scenario like if you have zero or if you have five tools if you are going for vacation to for example africa and something happens to you and you know what to do in in that scenario thanks to uh, neuroscience especially because it's the field which helps you to understand yourself and helps you to do that by basically studying neurons which your own brain is made up of and they basically send out these uh, electrical signals when anything basically all the time even when you're asleep so your brain does work even when you're asleep on that front and what is this field of neuroscience helping you with is to understand what the different connections mean, when they happen, how they can happen, and when, for example, certain connections and certain circumstances are met, you can then uh, improve your own motivation, even drive, focus, social likability, and anything else that you would like to. And like two things are coming out of my head of why it's especially that strong to actually understand this. And to compare this, I will go to a very interesting example of a case I've heard of a guy who was a part of the U.S. Army when uh, there was basically war in the mid Middle East, might have been uh, Iraq, to be pre precise. And they had this long established tradition, maybe for decades all already, to have a particular pattern of breed breeding where in order to be much more focused when you're about to make a shot with a gun. And this particular form of breeding was uh, established in, in the corps or in the army for a couple of years already, but they had no idea why it worked. But what it basically did is that it allowed them to improve uh, focus by basically exhaling right before they were about to make a shot. Basically, it would mean that you will take a breath, you would exhale, and then you would make a shot. And you would be a lot more accurate uh, in, in that way, and they've seen that for quite a long period of time. Now, this was something that they've observed themselves and it wasn't wide, widely known outside of military and any kind of similar complexes at all. But thanks to neuroscience, we knew after a couple of years, probably more more publicly uh, known maybe in 2021. But then what was quite interesting that we actually, uh, for, for the public, uh, we knew that something like that could help us to improve our focus when we actually breathe out. But the very interesting thing that you actually don't have to be, for example, in, in the military anymore to actually know that. You can just study this field or at least listen to people who know uh, such things. And you can actually learn quite a lot without being yourself a part of uh, very specific jobs. Which otherwise, you would not be able to actually learn about uh, those very in interesting things that actually can help you. Probably not in, in the war, maybe but in any other end where you will need to improve your focus short term that will be very helpful for you the second thing which is very interesting that people uh, found out quite a long time ago i will go back to mid middle ages on that front this is additional story for you guys which we discussed i think once or twice already but just to for the rep repetition sake for this video we are going to go through the fact that especially in Europe, but most likely in other places as well, although I have only confirmation for it being in Central Europe as a thing, and also in France, is that people used to throw kids into rivers after they learned or a particular information or after they were st st studying for something. Now, the very interesting thing is that back then in Middle Ages, let's say in years of 
1200 or 1300 there was of course not even huge fields of any science established you might have maybe al alchemists at that point but there was nothing like that but what they were able to notice is that if they actually did that if they threw uh, kids into a river of course uh, i don't support that for you to throw ki kids into a river and it was always a cold river so this this is why they've done it they've noticed that people were much more likely to uh, remember anything they've learned prior to being thrown into a river and this was a tradition but it basically sprouted up in europe which was basically just today's form of a lot of just translate of very huge cold exposure and what this basically did is that when you do that for example when you go into ice bath or anything similar you spike particular hormones and chemicals which then allow you to learn something you studied prior to that maybe half half an hour prior to that cold exposure much better and much quicker at the same time and we now know that because of neuroscience of how all of those mechanisms work but they quite clearly explained what was already practiced many times before, even hundreds of years before, what people were able to find out by basically a practice. But thanks to control studies, especially in the last five to ten years, and which we now call the field of neuroscience, we are able to actually know why that works and then to make the knowledge, I believe, uh, more apparent to more people, which I think is uh, very interesting, awesome. Because if you really need to know something, guys, then even very cold showers could help you they won't help you as, as much but if you want to take it to a limit to absolutely get them learn what you need to learn take uh, an ice bath and you are gonna learn basically most of the things you wanted uh, it's gonna work quite well so this is why i love north End, guys you are gonna get so many tools you could use if you need to improve yourself your own brain especially for particular occasions and I think it's especially also helpful, uh, these were just two examples out of uh, many I could give you, although only two sprang up in my mind at, at this point. But it would also help you, for example, to know why as a parent your kids might, might be crying uh, as, as, as well, when you would actually research, for example, episodes about motivation as, as well, because we are all motivated to a couple of very specific things. It's basically deep, deep subconsciously for food, for example, social aspects for life for partners, for example. So this is a huge thing which you may also learn about through neuroscience, but why some people might behave a different way that you would expect. And it can also help you to adjust your own behavior to improve your own life and then to improve the lives of others. And I think it's pretty important to actually like look for particular tools you would like to use because it's not just that you can use these tools now. You don't have a particular problem about motivation now. For example, you may have a problem about motivation many times in the future. So having these tools as soon as possible to be available to you is very huge help guys i think that's something that can, that basically you can use and you can help with it everyone around you as well so just feel free to share everything you want guys it's pretty much awesome now last aspect i want to touch upon this video is that i've noticed very much over the course of the past two or three years after i got the slightly older is that there's a huge shift in what we have issues with nowadays and i don't think it's food or housing anymore i mean i can especially say for western countries but i think since we've been able to lift out of poverty billions literally billions of people in the last few decades uh, there isn't as such of a huge issue with food as it was before. I will, of course, still acknowledge that there are poor people in the world still. But I think we've done a tremendous job, which I don't think is mentioned all the times, about how much we've been able to help basically everyone in the last decade, which is making food more accessible. But there has been a tendency which I see happening, especially it started to first occur in the Western countries on that end. But I think it's spreading and lastly it's also going to spread to any country that is lifted out of poverty is that now there isn't even a fight for food, for housing and similar things, but it's more of a fight for ourselves. And what I really mean by this is that there are so many ads, so many companies trying to solve your issues or issues you might not even have or you might not even never have, uh, but just making you aware by making everything instant, accessible. And I would just mention that what we've talked about so many times, for example, games, porn, are basically all the things which can really drag your life down. It's more of a fight. I believe it's more of a fight for yourself to basically be aware of making sure that you don't do too many of the activities which don't really give you real meaning in life. 
and to make sure that you can use the tools you need to lift yourself out of any, let's say, deep shit you are in. So, for example, tools about mot motivation. If you really don't like going to the gym, you can use any tools for motivation to actually get in there and to actually uh, work work on your own body because it's very important on that. And so you can use all of the tools from neuroscience to basically make the fight easier for you, for yourself, because I think that is the biggest fight, especially men uh, today face. And I think especially it's very visible, I think, West Western countries at this point, let's say tier one countries, but I do believe in any country which is going to be lifted out of uh, poverty or especially where most of the people have already been lifted out of poverty, it's starting to also passively spread into those uh, countries. So this is why neuroscience can especially help you because you can want to understand yourself, but I think you can then help others to get them out of, for example, ad addictions such as alcohol as, as well. You know, there are so many addictions which we could talk about as alcohol. I've heard statistic that about 113 thousand hundred and thirteen thousand americans died of a thing i think it was fentanyl which is usually found in cocaine abuse last year in one year so this is very interesting statistic because this would be one of the largest issues that the world is dealing with and i haven't i particularly don't watch news for example but i haven't heard it being mentioned anywhere only in a couple of particular sources and this is like just one of the examples why if you know about how your brain works, about how you can handle yourself, you won't be out of those 100k plus people who may have used uh, some drugs and you may also help people around you to make sure they also don't use any drugs such as co cocaine and similar. So I've taken a big bit of dire doctrine, but I think it's especially important to talk about those topics because 100 plus k uh, people, that's something you don't even see in any war in just a single year to basically die of something. And this is one of the just many ad addictions where we could talk about, but this is why neuroscience is very, very important to actually know what this is about, to study it, and to then possibly share with as many people as, as you can the learnings and tools you can actually find from, because it's goddamn awesome, not just for you, but for anyone else around you. Okay, guys, so thank you. Hopefully you have been especially liking the last couple of videos, uh, because we have based these particular teams as we have for you guys. If you would like to see any team or any topic or anything to expand upon, you can also post down the comments. We'll be more than glad. I've seen some couple of comments uh, pop up in the last few weeks. So still very glad for all of those guys and see you in the next one. Bye.